Another thing is washing buffers. As you can see, HyperDBG creates thousands of messages and some of them are not be handled or you, we cannot handle them. This thing happens uh, whenever you want to uh, debug uh, user mode, uh, whenever you want to debug in local debugging mode because all of the messages are immediately passed or de delivered in the debugger. The thing about the flashing buffer is that sometimes the rate of the produced uh, messages is more than a uh, HyperDVG's predefined buffer. For example, HyperDVG defines uh, some buffers. Uh, you can change it in the source code if you want, but these buffers might uh, generate thousands or even hun uh, hundreds to thousands of these messages and all of them are stored in the buffers to be de delivered and uh, Whenever a new buffer, a new thing is added uh, to the buffer, then there is no empty place to place the buffer or save the buffer. So the oldest messages or the previous messages start to be replaced by the new buffers. But if you want to just flush everything and just uh, remove everything from the buffers, you can use uh, the flushing buffer commands. In debugger mode, this is a really important concept that you should remember in HyperDVG. Uh, buffers in debugger mode are delivered immediately, which means that HyperDVG won't buffer them. If you are using a kernel mode debugger, for example, debugging a guest VM machine, then every messages are delivered immediately. But in the case of VMI mode or in the case of local debugging mode, the buffers will be buffered and then delivered because uh, simply we cannot deliver all of them immediately. It's not possible. So after filling the buffers, uh, you might just clear an event. And after clearing uh, events, you just HyperDVG keeps de delivering buffers until all of them are re received. So if we are not interested in those buffers, we will use the flush command to uh, remove all of them. I will uh, give you an example of uh, what I mean by this. Uh, here is an example. I just tried to revert to the previous state because I want to show you something in the VMI mode of the HyperDVG. And we can we can use the uh, example that we previously used uh, for the APT hook. Here it was. Uh, just create hooks from XAllocate Pulu Tech. So let's uh, just start the HyperDVG in VMI mode and say connect right, to the local machine and I will load the VMM. I hope that this VM is connected because we want to bypass the driver signature enforcement. Uh, it's not connected yet. Yeah, it's connected now. So yeah. It's failed, but if you want to, if we run it again, then we will see that it's connected. And no, I run this command from the slides. As you know, uh, X allocate pool with tech has a high rate of execution, so thousands of events are, are running each time. So and and the buffer are completely uh, filled with these messages. The thing is that it says Utu Ampaz mode is enabled and uh, the debugger will automatically run the a new event command if you just click uh, or if you just put a new uh, event to the debugger. If I want to continue, then I continue seeing these events. And the thing that you should know is that some of the events might be ignored. If you just uh, try, generally you are not, it's not a good idea to just fill all the buffers of the hyper DVG, but HyperDVG keeps uh, removing the old uh, buffers with the new buffers. And in this uh, scenario, some of the events might be ignored or some of the event might be removed. So you should uh, put some checks like some if statements or else if uh, statements, conditional statements to avoid creating thousands of uh, messages simultaneously. It's not recommended. I just clearing the event or disabling uh first i just want to see the event the event id is zero and i will uh, disable this event so it's not supposed to show anything now but it keeps showing because the buffers are uh, there are something buffers that are not limited i will use the flush command here which said that 
in total we removed 672 messages and all of them are cleared no if i run the g again there is nothing and no messages are currently available in the debugger if i re-enable it again you can see that the messages are keep coming and the hyperdigi start producing new messages so i will just remove uh, i will just disable it again uh, this time flush the buffers and this time you can see that 896 messages were, were clear.